Hi, this is Michael Hader from Expanse VR, and this is the second episode in our VR tutorial series for Unity. As you can see, uh, first off, I've obviously added in a few assets uh, just to make our scene a little bit more interesting and more uh, importantly, to give us a bit more depth um, when looking in VR, because we're going to be interacting with objects this episode. Now there are several different ways that you can interact with objects in VR and this week we're going to start with the simplest way which is just using the hands from your avatar which we put in last episode and we're just going to use them to grab an object. So starting off I've just got a little small rock item that I'm going to bring in. I'm going to go on top of this crate here. I'm going to scale him down a little bit just to make him more small rock sizey. Now, with OVR for Oculus, they have the grabbable script, OVR grabbable. So if we just do search in here, it's this one here. And all you need to do is place it on the item, but it does require two other small components that need to be applied for it to work. First one is a rigid body, and the other one is a collider. And in this case, I'm going to do a small little sphere collider. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller than what it is. So that it doesn't uh, interrupt with the actual box underneath it too much. And with our rigid body, you can use it with gravity or without gravity. But with your collider, you do need to have it as a regular one. You can't have it as a trigger or it won't work. So once you've got those components on there, that will work nice and easily, but there are a few things that we're gonna notice once we start using it. So all our movements are working the same as before from last time. And when we grab the rock, you're gonna notice straight away that it orientates itself uh, to our hand each time that we grab it. Now, how you grab the item is definitely going to come down to your own personal preference and what you're trying to do with the particular object. For instance, if you had a gun or a sword um, or a mug or something like that, you're probably going to want them to grab it at a particular point um, each time and you don't want them fiddling around too much. But for instance, with this one here, we want to be able to grab the rock at any point and have it sort of sitting in the hand a little bit more naturally. So all we need to do is go into our player controller find our uh, custom hands, in this case for our right hand for the moment, and all you need to do is come over and click on parent held object. And then all that's gonna happen is each time that you grab an object, it's gonna parent it to your hands so that it can sit wherever it wants. And um, I believe it also disables the gravity at that point as well. But so we'll just click on that and we'll test that out again. So now, as you can see, every time we grab the rock with our right hand, we can grab it at any single point we like and it stays there. But when we grab it with the left hand, because we haven't changed it, it's still going to reorientate itself to the object. Now, again, this is just going to come down to your own preference in how you want to grab the items. But what happens if we wanted to add a bit more functionality to the objects that you're grabbing? Well, if we bring up the OVR grabbable script and we scroll down to the items that are using it so we can see here we've got the grab begin, grab end. You could go in here and edit this, but a best practice, this is not the way that we want to do things. And if you notice, the functions themselves have uh, our actual virtual functions, which means that we can inherit from these and use them to make our own functions from them. Now, as always, I'm assuming that if you're watching this and you look trying to implement VR, you actually have some an understanding of C-sharp and object-oriented programming. But if you don't and you would like me to do some videos on some of these concepts that I'm going through now, uh, please comment below and I'll be more than happy to jump in and do a video on some of those uh, subjects. So what we'll do now is jump into the scripts folder and we will create a new script and we're going to call this grabbable items. And we'll bring that up in Visual Studio. 
And we're going to keep this OVER grabbable script here just as a reference so we can have a look at a few things. Now the very first thing that we need to do is get rid of the modern behavior and put in OVR grabbable. And then we're going to be inheriting from that script and have all its functionalities. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, again, let me know in the comments and I can go through this, but this does have to do inheritance, inheritance which is a huge part of C Sharp and object oriented programming. And if you don't understand it and you are looking to improve on your programming, this is a fundamental thing that you need to be able to understand to progress in this sort of field. So what I thought would be a quick and easy proof of concept of how this works and just to demonstrate what we're doing is simply we, what we can do is make it that when we grab an item, uh, in this case our little rock, uh, we're going to change the color of the material and then we'll change it back to its original material when we let go of it. So if looking back into here, the two functions that we're going to be working with are the grab begin one here and the grab end. So jumping into our script. First of all, we are going to make this nice and easier for ourselves. And we are going to have the material that we are going to change into when we grab it. And before I forget, Let's quickly jump into our materials folder. And we're going to call this grabbed material. And on our little rock, where are we with that small little rock? I nearly forgot. Let's add this. In. Now, as you can see, because we're inheriting from OVR Grabbable, we have all the same options and functions, but now we have the grabbed, uh, Grabbable Material serialized field that we've just added in. And so before we forget as well, we're going to remove that one because we don't need it anymore. We got it all. And where's our materials? We'll add the grabbed material in now, just so we, again, we don't forget. So we will have our grab material. We will also need to reference our original material. And as always, even when we're demonstrating stuff, we should try to continue on with best practices. So we will cache a reference to our renderer. And to do that, we actually need to do that in the start function. And if we just double check, I see an awake. Yes, there is a start function in here. So we do need to override that one as well. Cool. Now, if you saw what I just did there, it actually auto filled in for us. And what it's done is it's uh, set up as a protected um, function because that's what the start is in here. Yep. So it's maintaining the same um, access and automatically, automatically it's filled this in for us, the base.start. And if you don't know what that's doing there, that's just making sure that we run everything from our start function first. So we run this before we add our own one in. And all we're going to do in our start function is we are going to get a reference to our renderer because we will use it later on and set the original material, which will be material. So there we go. We've got a um, reference to that material. So the first thing we need to do is do the grab begin. And again, as you can see here, once I click on this, it's going to auto fill everything we need in. So it's already set up to the correct access for us and it's already put in our base here and referencing these two in as a variable is being passed in. 
And again, just so you understand, when we do this, it's going to go back to OVR Grabbable, to our Grab Begin, and it's going to run all this before we do what we want to do once we've grabbed it. Okay, and all we're simply going to do with this is renderer.material equals our is grabbable material. And then back once we finish grabbing it, we'll equal our original. Material. And that should be simply it. And what we might do is actually set that to something a little bit more obvious. So where's our grab material? Let's make it a nice bright yellow. And the great thing is that Oculus has set up so that everything is very nice and modular. And a lot of the other ones that we're going to be going through over the coming weeks, you'll see it's the same thing, that we can do a lot of changes without actually having to touch the scripts that Oculus provide us. We can just inherit from them and make our own and get our own functionality, um, which is great because the important thing with all that, and if you're asking why do they do that, is so that when we have updates later on, um, it's not going to break anything that we develop. Um, if we go to update but that's it for this week uh, next week we'll look at doing uh, distance grab uh, and uh, a few other bits and pieces and thanks for watching don't forget to like and share to help grow our beautiful unity community and don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification button below to make sure you get to see our next video see you shortly